So before we start this video, I wanted to let y'all know that um, y'all can purchase things online from this website, Kia Baby. And basically they have from everything, y'all, everything for the moms. Every mom out here on my channel, go check that website out. I swear you won't regret it. It has from baby carriers to diaper bags to their first book, which you can put like little pictures of, you know, just of their first years, you know, because it's a beautiful thing to have their memories on that book. It's like you could write down when they were born, their ultrasound, their every so when they're bigger, they can look at their pictures and be like, Oh mom, like this is a beautiful little book. And you know, they have the memories there for it. Um anyways, they have bibs, they have anything that you would want for your baby from diaper changing pads just different types of stuff for your kid so if you guys if all the mommies just make your life easier if you guys don't have a car or whatever or you just don't have time to be running to the store just order your shit online hey youtube welcome back to my channel if y'all don't already know who i am it's your girl Lil c or cynthia anyways so today i have a job interview y'all and i'm gonna get this job from 7 a.m to 3 30 p.m and i really need this job this is an eight hour job y'all i currently work at ups and they went from 21.50 to 16 an hour like what kind of shit is that y'all like you know what i mean like they acting like a you know a person doesn't need the money like come on now so it's really hard for me these times and i'm really trying to get this job this new job i'm not gonna quit ups i'm gonna try to do both jobs plus youtube so y'all keep in tune with my channel so i haven't what the fuck this fucking fly anyway so i haven't smoked in like two to three days i think maybe even four days i haven't smoked in the last four days because I'm, if they, in case they do drug tests, I don't want it to pop up or whatever. So that's why the heck I'm not making that session for you guys. But we're going to get ready for my interview, y'all. Because I really do need this job. It's like 125. I got to leave by 2.30 because I got to be there on time, y'all. So I'm going to try my best to, you know, get this shit situated and, you know really be on time and yeah y'all so we're gonna start by um well also do y'all like my shirt it's money talks y'all i bought this shit off uh shane so if, just in case y'all like my shirt i'm just letting y'all know putting it on anyway so so yeah, let's get this shit started and yeah. So I just bought this um from my job. It's this foundation. I never use foundation, y'all. I don't like foundation, but I kind of wanted to try it because I kind of wanted to even out my skin tone. I'm not sure what my skin tone is, but I'm going to try it and see if this is my skin tone. This looks a little too yellow, but hey, we're gonna try it out. Not like a freaking eyebrow thing, eyebrow gel. But honestly, I tried it yesterday and I kind of didn't like the eyebrow gel because it's a little bit too creamy. And y'all, I know what y'all thinking. Y'all probably like, girl, creamy is better. But no, bro, because like it's actually good to be creamy, but not okay that sounds wrong but y'all i'm talking about the gel anyways it's good to be creamy but not too creamy you know because in case somebody wipes off your shit it's not gonna come off you know what i mean but this gel is a little bit too creamy to the point where if they wipe it off i'm pretty sure the shit will come off and you don't want that shit 
I'm pretty sure, like, if I were to go swimming right now, that shit would come off because it's a little too clean. So, I'm praying to God I get it because, you know, I'm going through hard times right now with money-wise. Because, you know, life is getting a lot harder these days, you know, like, especially because I don't have a car right now, bro. My car broke down, y'all, because, um, I bought this car from this one Arabic dude, and, bro, that man played me for sure. So, he, like, I paid fucking $5,000 for that car. Turned out, like, not even, like, not even, like, three months after I bought it, that shit started leaking all the antifreeze. And I'm like, what the fuck? So I kept buying bottles and bottles or, like, containers, containers of freaking antifreeze. And I kept putting it, and, like, it would be good, but then it would leak it out. And, like, I just spent, like, probably over five hundred dollars on just antifreeze y'all so you know i was kind of upset but i was like hey like i'm gonna fix it you know whenever i get more money i'm gonna fix that problem so that's not a biggie but it was next thing you know they played me they scammed me or whatever and it was the next next thing you know the car the whole car broke down on me y'all it like it broke down like it and then um i told i called my dad and i told him like hey dad like my shit is like not moving like i'm trying to press the gas or the reverse and it's not moving anywhere he left me in a fucking stop in a fucking uh traffic light he left me there and i was like i was the first one to go like, I was at the front, you know how you have two lanes, one to go and one to, like, come this way. So, it was just two lanes. And there was cars behind me, bro, it left me right there. But, like, cars was fucking honking at me and hell shit. And I couldn't move my car, like, oh, it was just fucking stressful. I was so angry because the car didn't even last me six months and it broke down on me, y'all. And I paid five thousand dollars for it for a used car, and I thought you know it was good because it's five thousand dollars. Like that's still a lot. Like even though it's cheap, it's still a lot of money for you to just for it to just break down on you. You know what I mean? And it wasn't even that good of a car. It was a, a like it was an old a older. It was a two thousand and five Volkswagen Jetta. I was so upset because they played me and I'm a single mom of one child. It's really hard these days. Like, I just wanted a car to move in, you know what I mean? Like, because I crashed my Kia and I really just needed a car to move in so I won't have to be on a bus where it's dangerous and... You know what I mean? You could get robbed down here, you could get kidnapped, you could get motherfucking raped you get you know it's, it's dangerous on here so i wasn't trying to have my child on the bus with me you know every day going to work and then on top of that it's like it takes a whole hour to get where i have to go every day you know like so that's what i was avoiding and next thing you know my shit broke down i was so angry so at the time, I told my boyfriend, like, hey, you know what, like, can you go and tell him, like, can you tell him that it hasn't even been a year and the car already broke down on me? And, like, so that way he could, you know, like, help us out, like, pay for the mechanic or something, like, you know, help us out. Like, not even all of it, but just help us out to find a cheap-ass mechanic. That motherfucker was like, oh, that ain't my problem. And I was almost done paying the car off, too. I was, like, at $800. I had $800 left. It was my going to be my last payment. And, bro, 
that motherfucker was like oh you know what it's not my problem y'all gonna handle that shit on your own whoa i was like what the fuck i barely bought this car off you like you know what i mean like i'm still paying for it like what did you like my shit is done for like it doesn't even work and then he was just like oh well that's not my problem go handle your own shit that's your car to worry about now i'm like he was just a fucking asshole and um so you know what i did you know judge me or not judge me or not y'all but you know what i did i still owed him the 800 dollars. you know what i did i did not pay him i was like you know what fuck you then fuck you it's the same way you said it's not your problem it's not my problem to pay you 800 dollars. fuck you i already i already paid 500 five thousand dollars for that car so i'm not gonna give no more money up for a car that is just sitting there and it doesn't fucking work like fuck that shit and i just got a fucking letter in the mail saying that if i don't pay like whoa they're gonna take me to court and i'm just in this fucking court case right now like you know what i don't care i have a lot of evidence i have a lot of evidence against him i have receipts of all the antifreeze of everything i've spent on that car since i got it so you know he could take me to court you know what i mean like i'm a single mom i'm a single mom It's making them look hella funny. All right, so for eyebrows, I use the Pro Concealer LA Girl. I know y'all know about this. For the girls that know, if you know, you know. You know what I mean? This is the best, I, I mean, the best eyeliner. What the fuck? The best concealer for um, anything. You know what I mean? I really love this one, to be honest.
right, y'all. So, this is for me. So, I am interview ready right now, and um, I hope and I pray that I do get this job because I really need it for me and my daughter. So, wish me good luck, y'all. I hope I look interview ready. Um, it's going to be at a warehouse, so I know for a fact it's just casual, but I'm doing it a little bit extra. Because you always gotta look your best, you know, for the first time. You gotta look your best and, you know, you gotta look presentable to try and get this job. And hopefully, you know, I get it. Let's get that money, y'all. Get that money. Y'all see this, y'all? These kids is crazy out here. I oh, see the shoes right now. <laughs> they all fighting each other. <laughs> Anyways, so I got this. Oh, I got this for my baby, y'all. Well, my mom got it. Got it for my baby. So hopefully it works. That we, um, my baby, could ride a little unicorn outside. Cause that shit will be fun for her. Shit. We get it, one of y'all. Todo se puede, todo es posible. I'm like, we on a fucking death Pero si todo se, si todo no nos quiere, todo se puede, la verdad. Because like, no tengo carro, pero todavía estoy aquí a la verga, haciéndole la lucha. Agarrar un pinche trabajo, aunque no tengo carro, pero yo tengo dos, pero están jodidos a la verdad. We're going to try to make this work, no? And for the people that don't know Spanish, um, you know, wanting something, you can get it, no matter what obstacles in the way. If you want it, you can get it. Because look at me, bro. I'm waiting on the fucking bus. No, and damn, well, I don't have. I had to catch three buses to go to the interview. So that's how you know, bro. If you determined to do something, you can do it. Just know that. Me, baby. The mansion. This the best part of the day, huh? <laughs> you like what? So we are here watching. Um, uh, what's this? Animal one. Oh, well, kids. <laughs> Animal one. Lily, what you doing with a cable girl? La la la. La la la. No 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 no. Uh-uh, you don't put that in your mouth. No, you don't. Why are you getting angry? I just want you to be safe. No, if you hungry, I'll give you some pan, you know? <laughs> Bye. Bye. She didn't want me to record no more, so she said bye. All right, y'all. So the thing I ordered off of Kia Babies is this uh, my baby's first years. It's a modern memory book for your baby. Go ahead, go ahead, girl. You trying to show them? Okay, but I'm trying to show them too, though. I'm trying to show them. Okay, so basically, when you open it, it has these cute little design butterflies with flowers and all. 
and um so i thought that was cute because my baby's a girl come on so you have like a you know you have a different design if it's a boy or whatever whatever design you want you know i just picked this one because i feel like this one's girly for my daughter so it says uh baby you are one of my greatest blessings you will forever be loved lots of hugs and kisses and then you could put mommy or something like that so like it has a letter to you you know so basically it has a little letter for you so that's cute it says welcome to wonderland when you came into my life so basically it's just the table of contents and that's how it cute y'all so you put watching you grow fills my heart with so much love and joy so this is a story of and then you can just put the photo of your daughter